A new report came out this week with troubling signs about the challenges facing Greenland. Climate scientists say the ice sheet is melting six times faster now compared to the 80s. NASA researchers have been flying over glaciers and icebergs for about four years. They've dropped probes into the ocean to understand how the waters around Greenland are warming and contributing to the melting of glaciers. They have found a combination of surface warming and ocean water warming could melt enough ice to create an alarming rise in sea levels. Danielle Smith from Global News Radio 770 CHQR joins us to continue the conversation on this one. Danielle, I know you're going to be talking to a columnist uh, from the National Post about this one. Yes, John Robson has been doing some interesting work. He has created a website called Climate Discussion Nexus, and he finds some contrarian scientific data, and he posts it. And I've been watching this Greenland story because part of the problem that we have is our focus is on recent history. So he has um, uh, quoted an article that was written by a scientist that goes back 10,000 years, and what it finds is that for most of that 10,000 years, the Greenland ice sheet was dramatically less than what it is today. It really only peaked at the size that it is today in about 1850. So when we're talking about melting, we're talking about melting um, from basically a size that's, that's only a few hundred years old. And so the reason this is important is because we now have the G7 meeting happening this weekend. And you've got politicians freaking out about the Amazon rainforest being on fire. And we're getting bad information. You've got Hollywood uh, uh, celebrities that are tweeting out pictures of fires that aren't even of Amazon, that aren't even from the same year to try to, um, to, to elevate the issue and escalate it. When they talk about the number of fires that are happening this year being 80% higher than last year, well, they're about the same as what we saw in 2016. So I'm going to talk to John Robson today about how it is that when we get this kind of information, how we can broaden it out to get broader context so that we can either put it in the context of what has happened in previous years, broaden that out, or if we need to, what's happened in the last hundreds of years or thousands of years so that we don't all panic. Okay, so we only have like 15 seconds left. So is John Robson disputing NASA scientists then? No, it's a scientist mm -hmm. named uh, Mickelson mm -hmm. who is uh, has put forward a contrary paper that John Robson is giving some profile to. So you've got a battle going on in the scientific community, and I think it's important for us to pay attention to uh, Certainly a good discussion to have for sure. Thanks for this, Danielle. Yeah, you bet. Uh, you can listen to Danielle's show starting at 930 on 770 CHQ. You are.